Um, today I want to I want to explain um, the use of metaballs to block out the form, the figure of our characters. Um, what I'm going to do is to create a first metaball and place it in our scene and make a copy. This uh, copy using is going to be mirrored in the x axis but uh, using um, the center of the scene as a pivot point. Uh, this, uh, the, the second metaball, like it's, uh, it's uh, mirrored, and we can enter now edit mode in any of uh, or any of the metaballs, of the, any of the objects. We can keep adding uh, metaballs inside in edit mode, and everything, everything we we do. It's being mirrored in the second object that you see in the video. See? But uh, as metaballs have a tendency to join together in proximity, um, when I uh, when I finish the blocking out the form, I can turn. The, the metaballs into a real mesh and it's going to like this now I, I need to convert all uh, the metaballs into a mesh in like that now we can see it's a, it's a messy mesh but we can use the remesh modifier to clean it up um, there you go. All oh, a little more resolution. There you go. You have now a clean topology, all quads. So you can use uh, now multi resolution or the topo. I'm going to use the topo. This is going to be just a fast sketch. So I don't need I don't need the all the really high poly count we can get using multi resolution. Um, I wasn't uh, using uh, metaballs to block out uh, the body of my characters because I didn't know how to um, uh, work using uh, an X mirror or any mirror for that matter. But this does. This was a nice trick. Um, just uh, making a mirror copy and then. Turning it, turning it uh, to use a regular mesh. Now it's just uh, uh, you can do the regular work in uh, sculpting work. I'm going to show you a little, but uh, this is not <laughs> this is not a really a sculpting video. This is just uh, to show you how to to use metaballs to. To create the first, uh, the first blocking. Okay, there's a little more. See, the, that's the, the the first, the head and the the body. I'm going to use boolean modifiers to join them together, and I'm going to get rid of the horns, because I want to to make. Right, like that. I might want to make the horns using the array modifier. Uh, I want bigger horns, this little fella. Okay, well, that's it. See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe.